Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vrishali and uh, today is not a really special or a different video. It's just an old-fashioned sit-down video and I thought this was really important to do because I think a lot of people feel similar to how I'm feeling right now so I just thought it would be good to put this video out. Uh, I also have my notes by the way because I realized that it would be much easier if I just write it all down so it's yeah, I can just remember it. Anyway, so uh, basically the reason why I'm making this video is this last month has been so hard and challenging and also interesting in so many different ways. And I realized that the month went in like waves of motivation. Like two or three days I would be really motivated and then the next three, four days I would have completely lost my like you know pr motivation and the productivity was really bad. So when I look at it, the month in general, I feel like okay, it could have been a lot better, you know. When you start feeling demotivated, it affects so many different aspects of your life it can affect the productivity in your work directly it can also mess up your sleep cycle that's another thing that I like realized you know there were a few days where my sleep cycle was completely a mess and also your appetite I don't know if like a lot of you have felt that but that's definitely happened to me where like you know I don't feel excited to eat anymore or like uh, like loss of appetite so what I did was to start feeling motivated again I would do some of these things and get motivated and have like good two or three days and then it would be back to like you know the same old cycle repeated. So um, I thought that this month I would consciously try to implement some of these things that I noticed work for me. So I just thought that it would be good to share it with you all and maybe you can try some of these. Just basically continue feeling motivated and productive during this lockdown situation because of course it's a very different and a difficult situation and it's so important that you you know take care of yourself mentally and you know like stay fit and on top of your uh, to-do list because it's so easy to get lost in time like you know it can it, it kind of honestly feels like time has come to a standstill all the days just kind of feel like this one big blob of time you know anyway so I'm not saying that uh, I, d I followed these on an everyday basis but I'm definitely going to try and implement this in the, the coming month like in May like more intentionally and more regularly and I'm going to be sharing four tips with you that I felt like definitely helped me get back on track so the first one I would say is have a routine I feel like this is one of the most important things because like I mentioned before the entire day can feel like a big blob of time you know and all these days put together you kind of start losing track of how was yesterday different from today so I feel like it's very important to have a routine and I would suggest waking up early like really early like 5 a.m. like there were days when I did that and those were one of the most productive days I've had because waking up at 5 a.m. just sets like the tone of the whole day it's like you start relaxed and you start you start the day before anybody else has kind of you know so waking up at 5 a.m. definitely helped me a lot and also one thing I noticed is you know formulating a morning routine so when I wake up at 5 many of the times I had nothing to do so I would just like it was so easy to go back to sleep and be like you know okay like I have nothing to do or like I haven't planned anything so it's so important to like formulate a morning routine that you really look forward to for example my morning routine was I would wake up at 5 a.m. and you know um, freshen up and the first thing I would do is uh, make myself some breakfast because uh, and do some quick you know workout and stretches but have like a breakfast ready and try to be done with all of these things by 6 because the thing that I used to look forward to in my morning was at 6 o'clock. I love sitting in my balcony right here and watching the sunrise and having my breakfast. So that was one thing that I always look forward to. And I noticed that whenever I thought about this, it was a lot easier to wake up at 5 a.m. Knowing that, oh yeah, I'm going to be sitting in the balcony, eating my breakfast, watching the sunrise. And like, like such a nice view. Like, let me just turn and show you. Like that. So that used to like definitely like you know motivate a lot and also i would say plan your breakfast the day before so that when you wake up you're not again spending time on like you know thinking of like what to make now it's like you have your so you have your like your breakfast menu ready already so that helps a lot and um, yeah so that's my first tip that I would say like really have a routine and same way for the evening you know have like an evening routine that you really look forward to and yeah that really helps a lot the second thing I would say say is set time limits or time stamps and by that what I mean is you know 
I would do all of this morning routine and try and be done with like whatever else I want to have a bath, have a workout session and breakfast and all of that and try to be done by 9.30 maximum 10. And the reason is because I'm setting a timestamp where, you know, at 9.30, I'm going to start my work. And before I start my work, what I need to do is literally get ready as if I was going to leave to get to work, you know. And that I feel is so important because uh, don't just like start your work in clothes that you would wear to sleep and stuff because that again is like you know doesn't get you refreshed and motivated to start your work and also another thing I would suggest is work at a different place in your house like don't work in your own room you know because if you sleep in the same place and you work in the same place it's like you're like you're stuck in that one room for so long that it can get so monotonous and you need a change in space and change in like your vision so I would suggest going to a different part of your house throughout the day have different things that you're doing in different parts of the house for example I would have breakfast in my balcony it gave me like a cafe feel where it's like okay I'm going to a place to have breakfast and then go to a different place to work and then set of course this timestamp for lunch and of course have a timestamp for when you're going to end the work and it can vary depending on what your work is like what you prefer I would set my time limit as like 7, 7.30, 8, somewhere around that time depending on how much work I have and that is again something to look forward to because you know like okay at this time my work is done and only then after that go back to like your room and that's when I would go back to my room the days that I'm being productive of course that's when I would go back to my room feel like oh I've come back home you know like the feeling that you get after like an entire day of work you go back like home so that's the feeling I would get and that's I feel so important because in a way you're training your mind to continue like functioning like you normally would even though you're at home the entire time another thing that I would suggest is form a new hobby pick something up that is you're looking forward to that you're excited for example what I did was I realized that I was having these um, you know like cravings for dessert I just felt like okay why not like my sister is here with me right now so we just started baking you know somehow it fell into place where we always used to bake at night this last one month and that was something super like exciting because whenever we bake something it would be like in a big batch and that would last for a week and you have something nice to eat throughout the week too and once that's done again there's something to look forward to you know so I would say like create these small activities pick up a new hobby anything that you're excited about or something to look forward to something that keeps you excited it's not like every day again feels the same that's another thing that I would suggest and that's point number three point number four is having monthly goals and this I feel like is so useful not just for like just the lockdown period but in general having like a goal for one month you know like we, we all make like new year resolution and sometimes we don't really follow through and later on we even forget that we had made a resolution so I started this new thing that I have like these monthly goals and that works so well for example this previous month which was in April I had decided also another thing that I've noticed is whenever you have three four goals it somehow doesn't work out like I always have three four different goals but then there's this one goal that I feel like okay no matter what I'm going to make this one happen and you can actually accomplish that and you feel so much happier and you know excited for the next month so for example in the previous month April I had decided that I'm going to upload one video every week on my YouTube channel and I'm actually so happy that I did that I'm going to like post all the videos like here I was really happy happy about that because no matter what like there were days when I felt motivated there were days days together where I did not feel motivated at all and I was not being productive but somehow this one goal I stuck to like no matter what I need to get a video out this week and at the end of the month you feel a lot more accomplished you know like okay I decided this one thing and I actually like followed through so definitely have like a monthly goal and just have the attitude of like you know like a fresh start I love like fresh starts you know so like look at every day every week every month as a fresh start and that's why I wanted to post this video today because I kept pushing it and I was like okay you know what today is the first of May and I'm going to do this and it's like literally a new month a fresh start in a way and I'm going to definitely try and like consciously and consistently follow these and try and have like you know this month a lot more productive 
like than the previous month so yeah and i i guess i would just want to end with saying don't be too hard on yourself also just appreciate yourself and you know like realize the things you have been doing and also realize the things you haven't been doing write it down in a list and just you know like make it happen because many of the times i've realized that till i made this list it was all in my head so it was always like oh i should do this i shouldn't do this and whatever it, it's like it's much harder to follow you know versus literally write it down in your notebook a goal that you want to stick to with this month and lastly not a tip or anything but just a fun thing if you want to try i'm going to try and follow it this month is start a journal because i feel like this situation this lockdown and quarantine is so different you know later on to look back it's going to be so interesting like wow like literally the whole world was going through something together you know like staying at home like staying indoors together and really respecting the process and it's going to be very interesting to look back at entire situation maybe if you want you could start journaling i probably am going to do that and yeah basically that's it for this video i really hope you all felt motivated found some encouragement in this video i know i'm definitely going to follow a lot of these this month and try to make this month really productive and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i know i say that in every video also follow me on my instagram i post like a lot of covers there and also just random other fun things so follow me on instagram if you want to and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye